It was summer 19, had a lot of big dreams Tell the world, show me something else Now it's 2023, can we get along please? I don't know what is coming next It was summer 19, had a lot of big dreams Tell the world, show me something else Now it's 2023, can we get along please? I don't know what is coming next Reach for the stars, hit the pavement Good to be back, man. What is going on, the good old YouTube man? Welcome back, guys, to the channel. And today, as y'all could read by today's title and thumbnail, yeah, man, uh, it's been like a. I feel like it's been a really long week, um, or not a long week. I meant a long month. Um, yeah, it was, it's been a long month with this new uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and. Um, yeah, man, um, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions with this phone. Um, mo mainly good, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, I truly, truly do love this fucking iPhone. It's really nice, man. It's it's really nice. It is it is worth the hype, to be honest. In my opinion, it is worth the hype. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, man, let's just jump right in into today's bid. iPhone 15 Pro Max for the past month, daily, daily use. Um, yeah you know my first opinions is i do like it i do like it a lot it's definitely um i'd say it, i enjoy using this phone to be honest it's it's nice to use you know obviously as you can see i have no case um when i'm home i usually take off the case i do rock a case um but for the most part i when i get home i just rock it with no case um it's just it's just nice like that's the one that's like the first thing i do like i like I, I just like the feel of this iphone you know the the titanium of it it feels nice in the hands um it just feels really really good you know it doesn't feel too heavy so um so that's why i feel like i do like using it um i did drop it already um you can see right there in that little corner uh i did drop it um a few times i ain't gonna lie i did drop it a few times um, but it's still not too bad. Um, it's still in good condition. You know, obviously the first thing is get a screen protector. Um, you know, um, I you don't really use. Uh, I don't really like covering by the cameras. I know they have like stuff to cover it, but I personally don't like that. Um, I just feel like it actually does, you know, mess up the quality and all that. So me, me personally. So this new chip that we have in this, uh, the new chip that we have in this iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, for me, I don't really game on my phone. Uh, I don't do none of that. Um, the one thing that I do uh, truly on my phone a lot, like besides you know the daily stuff, is uh, editing photos. Um, I don't edit videos as much on my iPhone uh, as much, but uh, I do I do edit a lot of my photos with this, um, and it does process the the photos, all my edits in, in Lightroom. That's what I use. Um, it edits them pretty fast and it, ex it exports them and it imports them really fast so um, that's one thing that I do like about it. I already did a whole video with this iPhone as well. If you guys watched my previous video and my Nike outlet video, those two videos uh, were all straight from this iPhone and as well uh, no mics. Um, usually when I vlog with, with my iPhone I usually keep it raw. I don't really add a microphone to it. Uh, just because I feel like that just kind of kills the vibe of like the vlogging and the uh, authenticity of the video. So like I don't really use it obviously with, with my big rig right here. I definitely will, do have a microphone. You know the in-body microphone on these cameras. Um, they're not really good. But with the iPhone the mic does sound really really good. Um, again if you guys want samples. Obviously, just go watch um, my videos in the past, my Nike one and my uh, shooting range one. Those two videos were straight mic, straight out of the uh, iPhone, and obviously footage straight from the iPhone as well. So, when it comes to these cameras, um, if you have like the, if you have at least an iPhone 12 and up, um, I feel like you should still be good with shooting photos and video. You know, you should still be good. Um, you know, but again, if you're like me, if you want the latest and greatest, obviously no brainer, just get the new one, just, just upgrade. I have mixed feelings with this battery life. It's good. 
um, but like these like yesterday when I was shooting uh, footage for you guys um, uh, I did kind of which is kind of makes sense you know I am shooting in pro res so like it is gonna drain the battery um, but I will say I do get a full day out of it um, with this iPhone you know um, my previous iPhone disclaimer my previous iPhone was a 14 Pro not the not the max model it was just the Pro and that model um, when I took it to work uh, when I came back from work I came back from like like I think I was like 30% which was not fucking insane um, and now with this phone right here uh, I get home with like 70% 70 to like 80% on a really really good day like 80% 70 so that's a really big jump you know that's a really big difference uh, obviously I don't use my phone at, at work um, but even when I do I still come home with like at least over over 60% which is obviously better than 30% so yeah I really do like it you know um, I still have battery packs you guys can see behind me there's Lulu or not Lulu uh, Zero Lemon I think it's called that white battery pack I do have that just in case if I do need it obviously if I'm gonna be shooting ProRes or if I'm gonna be just recording you know vlogging with this phone um, doing the daily tasks I probably will bring a battery bank just in case um, you know but the battery life is really good um, I do like it um, it has held up you know as, as much I obviously I did travel went to Vegas here recently so um, it did the Vegas trip pretty nicely um, so yeah I can't complain with the battery life I do like it uh, I won't say it's the greatest to be honest still to this day the greatest battery life uh, was my 11 no my 13 Pro Max now that battery life was amazing uh, I do have a video if you guys want to see like my, my review of that phone um, but yeah that 13 Pro Max iPhone was so far the best battery life ever so yeah with all that being said though um, you know I, I do like it oh I don't forgot to say I almost forgot to tell you guys type C because I'm gonna talk about if you should upgrade now the big big thing for me guys is this fucking port right here this type C it's like a, it's such a game changer everything on my desk setup right over here it's all type C the only thing yeah my light my light switch is um for my desk light that's it's batteries but besides that though everything is type C you know my keyboard you know my keyboard is type C you know my MX Masters type C obviously my scuff is type C so like everything on my desk setup is type C obviously my laptop by behind behind you guys is type C uh, with or mag save whatever but it does charge type C so yeah mag uh, type C is is insane and <laughs> I did pick up one of these too uh, yesterday so yeah uh, type C is, 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 is nice it's welcomed here you know I really do like it and I say personally like if I wasn't um, a content creator I probably would still upgrade if I was just a regular norm I probably will upgrade just because of the type C you know um, but besides that though um, yeah I really do you know type C is nice you know you can hook it up to a monitor you can you know you obviously you have a plethora of like adapters that you can use you know again like as a content creator you know you can finally um, take your footage out and put it straight to your laptop which is insane so the workflow is definitely a lot more easier but yeah uh, obviously should you upgrade that's probably like the big question should y'all upgrade um, to be honest it's it's really up to you you know it's your money at the end of the day um, but um, I if you do use your cameras a lot and obviously if you're like a content creator um, I'd say definitely upgrade, um, especially if you like Type C. If you're a tech head like me, uh, if you have everything Type C, then it's a no-brainer. Just get Type C, then just upgrade. But at the same time, if you really don't care about Type C, and obviously if you don't really use your your cameras a lot, if you don't really don't use them, if you just use them to flick, to flick photos and just record video here and there, um, I'd say no. Um, you should just either stick with your iPhone. Um, you know if you. If you have an iPhone 12 at least and up, you should be good. Um, but yeah, if you have like an iPhone X or lower, then yeah, you definitely do want to upgrade. I think it's time. Treat yourself. Even if you have an iPhone 11, 
I say definitely treat yourself, you know, um, get yourself this new iPhone. Now you don't have to get the Pro or the Pro Max. You can just get, even get the iPhone 15, you know, um, don't be a peasant and don't get the iPhone 15 plus. If you're going to get that, might as well just get the Pro. Just saying, I'm just saying. But with that being said, that's going to be it for today's good old vid, man. Um, hope you guys enjoy this vid. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, like always, guys. And y'all already know. I'll definitely will see you guys in my next video. It was summer 19, had a lot of big dreams. So the world show me something.